Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And this is my second screencast of showing you how to work effectively under the command line on Lubuntu. In this case 11.10, but it just also works with uh, prior versions to this. And in this uh, little screencast I want to show you how to work with media files. So the first thing that I want to show you is some media files. I can do this by just opening up the file manager um, or by just using a key combination to open up the file manager. In this case Control alt d which will open up the file manager. And if you go, if I go here to music folder you can see that I have downloaded a uh, Jamendo album called uh, 8-bit or 8-bit uh, Lagerfeuer by Pornophonic and yeah, this is basically a uh, free uh, or just simply under the Creative Commons license basically you can see here the license very nice music and yeah what I do what I want to do now is just yeah perhaps I want to work on my graphical user interface on various different applications want to develop something and I want to hear this music in the background basically playing but I know that perhaps I want to change the desktop environment I want to test my application in. So what I can do is just go of course to a terminal or in this case the TTY which is a um, yeah, terminal running in the background basically because our graphical user interface is also running on a terminal and th there are quite other terminals available that we can use also for starting other graphical user interfaces um, but in our case we just want to yeah, open up a music player so let me switch to this TTY and to show you some of the yeah, tricks and tips how to work with media under the terminal in Lubuntu so I will hit Control alt f1 here and this will bring me yeah to this buggy little screen. Seems not to work under the virtual box, but believe me, it will work very, very fine on your computer. So I cannot test this here on the virtual box. As you can see, there's a little bug in a virtual box. So I will do this here in a normal terminal. But you can do this, of course, on the TTY as well with the same commands. So, what I will now do is just close up the file manager here and just work in the terminal. I will go to the directory where my um, album basically is. This is the music directory and 8 bit Lagerfeuer. And there we have some of our ARC files. And if I want to play back all those ARC files, what I can do, and there's a very nice handy player already included in Lubuntu. I think I'm starting from 10.04, or from the first Lubuntu version at least. There is a player called mPlayer, which is the base for the graphical mPlayer called Gnome mPlayer. And yeah, what you can do is just typing in the command mPlayer. And if you just enter, it will give you some of uh, the commands, uh, some of the parameters that you can enter with it. Uh, I want to enter a parameter called just simply grab all ARC files and play them back. And you might hear some sounds, some music in the background now. And you can see that it's playing back now the first MP3. You can see here it's playing 01 Sad Robot. And as you can see here, uh, the information in it gives here just using ALSA um, 48 kilohertz stereo sound and as you can see here the seconds it's playing back basically and the percentage uh, of the file it has played back so what I can new now do is just as I entered as you can see here all OG files is just just skip this song and go to the next one by pressing page up and this will go to the next uh, song in this case take me to the bonus level because I need an extra life.org and if I want to go back I just press page down as you can see it's going to position zero here in this song 
can go to the next one. Very, very cool songs here, Lemmings in Love, for example. And as you can see, you get also some information about this um, yeah, audio file, and ba basically, just like the selected audio codec, in this case it's FF Vorbis to decode, so you can see it's an ARC Vorbis file. So to quit the play, you just hit Q, Q, and this will exit this M player thing. So this is very nice, but what if you want to have an yeah basically what if you have many many directories with many many files in it? So some clever guys thought I think fifteen years ago there is a nice way to do this by just creating an index for those audio files and they call it playlist. And yeah, there are we are now in the digital world of course. There is of course a very easy and handy way to create playlists, especially with using modern yeah, modern music players basically. And in this uh, little um folder I already created a playlist called 8bitlagerfeuer.pls for playlist. And if I go into this playlist you will see that it's basically a text file with a playlist uh, yeah, tag basically showing all my files that it needs to play back. But you will also notice that it is uh, just showing or directing uh, files that aren't um, in my downloads folder anymore because I downloaded those fo files um, um, playlist but then I moved my file to the music directory and yeah some people ha have also this problem that they have uh, that, that they moved their files and then then their playlist uh, does not work anymore this is basically because the path isn't correct anymore just like here so what you can do in the terminal to fix this especially in VI to fix this is of course first of all you have to find out the right music directory the ma right path in this case it's very easy because you can see I only have to just simply let me go back to show you this more clearly uh, as you can see the path has, hasn't changed big so it's it's still the the long <laughs> um, name here uh, but the only thing that changed is basically that it's now in my music directory so what I have to do is just simply change the downloads folder here to the music folder. So what I can do in VI to fix my playlist very very easily I could also use of course leafpad if I want to is replace all occurrences of downloads with music. So I can do this in VI very very easily by just searching and replacing everything. And This is done via a command. Uh, you have to enter an command by pressing this key combination here and then you have to just use, it, use the percentage sign so we want to search and replace substitute basically every occurrences from the beginning of the file which is um, represent by percentage then the command itself substitute and then we have to of course the search wo word that we want to replace, uh, in this case downloads, we want to replace downloads with m the search word again um, and uh, forward slash, in this case music, and then again forward slash that indicates okay this is uh, the end of uh, my word that I want to replace it with, and then we want of course to replace it until the end of the file so every line should be replaced every line that contains downloads should be replaced with music until the end of the file and you can indicate this by just uh, giving it an G here and if you press enter now you can see every line that had downloads in there changed to music and this is basically my little fix for my playlist file. So 
I did not save my playlist file so to demonstrate it to you that the playlist file is basically not working I'm opening up um, pl M player with this playlist file and as you can see here negative position blah 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 so give an error and it's exiting because it cannot find any of those music files. If I'm now saving this file the replacement I did with the replacement I did and then go to this terminal and hit the exact same command you can see <laughs> that it's not working. Um, playlist now it's working. Of course I forgot to give it the playlist um, parameter. As you can see it's now working and scroll through the playlist. Works very fine. You can scroll through the music by just pressing the um, arrow keys left and right to scroll forward, you press right, you scroll backwards, you press left. You can also scroll uh, not only by 5% or 3% but also by 10% by using the up and down keys. As you can see here. Q to quit again. And the next thing that we want to do is just perhaps you just simply re-encode those files. For example I have an mp3 player here and this mp3 player as the name indicates just only plays mp3s and not orgvorbis files. So as I downloaded those orgvorbis files and they play nice on and fine on my computer but I want them to play back also very nice and fine on my mp3 player I have to convert those files. So there are some commands that allow you to easily convert those files. Uh, there's one command called mencoder, but as you can see here, you need to install this mencoder. There is a command called ffmpeg, but as you can see, you have to install ffmpeg. So you can use either of them to convert your files directly in the terminal to another file format. I will use FFmpeg in this case because I'm very familiar with FFmpeg so I will just simply install FFmpeg by just copying this uh, line. Also a very handy trick if you want to just copy and paste very fast you can mark this here and then not hit edit copy or something only mark it and then just if you have a middle mouse button then just click in here and it will just paste what you marked just hit enter, type in your password and a few seconds later it will ask you if you really want to install it I think I want to do this and just press yes and a few seconds later it's starting unpacking, starting installing the package so what I can now do is I will show you how to convert those ARC files to mp3 files very very easily by using ffmpeg. So we now just simply let me first search for and file. Let me take this this first file. What we do is just ffmpeg minus i for input, and we will input the first um, file name. And notice that I entered those yeah those single quotes basically because the file has very uh, has spaces and a minus sign uh, in its file name and it's very important if you using files with spaces or with minus signs or special characters that you use these uh, you know this this uh, one quote uh, sign so that ffmpeg now knows that the minus sign is not a par parameter that, uh, that this minus sign is a part of the file name that it should edit. So what I will now do is just simply um, specify the format. In this case I want 
an MP3 format, format so I'm specifying my minus F MP3, and then I can just simply um, yeah, specify the codec for the audio, in this case a codec for audio codec, and I will use the lib MP3 lame, which is an MP3 codec, of course. Um, if I would have an, an, an video file and want to extract the audio part from this video file, very handy if you downloaded some YouTube videos with uh, music on it, you can also do this. But what you do, what you what you need to do to not just also encode the video again is type in minus v n, which will then deactivate the video part of uh, this file. And in my case, I also type it in. Uh, just to be sure <laughs> that I won't get any video file in there. So the next thing is just type in the name of um, the uh, file that I want to use now, so setrobot.mp3 in this case, or can also set a bitrate by uh, using the uh, A bit. Um, I think it's the A bit. I'm not quite sure. There is of course a man page for FFmpeg as well. You can set a bitrate as well for your uh, audio um, quality. But in my case, I'm, I'm just saying, okay, the standard quality of MP3 is okay for me. I will call it set uh, underscore underscore uh, I think underscore dot MP3. Hit enter, and it will start. Uh, Oh, it's, it will start telling me that it's not knowing lib mp3 lame. You might run into the same problem and what you can do now to see a list of available codecs is just type in ffmpeg minus codecs. This will tell me what codecs are installed and what codecs I can use. So you can see here there are several um, yeah, several words basically. There's first of all there are the codecs here. There's the codec description, and then there uh, there are some letters basically telling me what this codec is all about and how it is supported. So first of all, it's telling me with the D, it has decoding support. With E, it has encoding support. So the one we are looking for for because we want to encode something. Uh, the V uh, we uh, just simply tells us that's a video codec, and the A here tells us that this is an audio codec. So we can scroll up here, and let me search for MP3. You can see that we have decoding support for MP3, but we don't have any encoding support for MP3, and we don't have lib MP3 that <laughs> I was searching for. Um, is there any other codec I can use? I guess there is a codec called a AC3, as you can see here. There's also encoding support for AAC, so if you want to use this uh, for an iPod or something like this, you can use it as well. But I know that AC3 is also supported by my MP3 player, so I can use this codec format here. Uh, just copy this case here the AC3 and let me scroll down go to the last command and replace my lib mp3 with mm, this AC3 I can uh, just leave the format to mp3 I guess and just hit enter and it's now starting encoding as you can see here and as you can see here, it's using an, a variable bitrate. In this case, it used, I think, 64 kilobits overall. And now we have, we should have a new file, set robot mp3, as you can see here. And you can play this back with your player on your computer, but then also with your portable media device, aka mp3 player. As you can see here, it's working just fine. I think the quality uh, it's 64K in this case, but for a mobile uh, MP3 player, for a smartphone or something like this, to have it as a ringtone or something like this, 
it's fine. So let me search because I'm very interested in how you can set the bitrate under FFmpeg, the audio bitrate, in the main page of FFmpeg. So this is one very also handy feature. If you're working uh, with uh, CLI-based applications, you have, uh, or almost every application has a main page. So you can basically go into this manual page by typing in man and then the command, in this case FFmpeg, as you can see here, and you get a uh, yeah, basically a whole book, a manual page, which allows you to scroll with your just key, uh, keyboard keys up and down. And as you can see here, there are some examples uh, as well, as you can see here, for vid video files. So if you want to um, convert an AV video file to another AV video file with a specific bitrate, you can do so. But what I want is um, audio bitrate, so I can scroll down, but as you can see here, there are lots and lots of explanations. So what I will do is just search for something, just like in VI, I can search with a forward slash here, and I will search for audio. And as you can see here, it's marking my um, search result here. And with the next key, the, the, the N key, I can jump to the next search result. As you can see here, I'm at the audio options and this is I think the right thing to do as you can see here oh my assumption back then was wrong it's a B it's the parameter for setting the bit rate so the default is 64k as you can see here so what we can now do is jump out of this manual page bus by pressing the Q key and then I can use my command for this mp3 again but now with the a B parameter we learned, and uh, well, what what's a realistically good quality? I think 312 kilobytes kilobytes should be very good. Okay, and now it's asking if I want to overwrite my file. So if you have accidentally just typed in the same file name of a file that you already converted. You can s just say here no, but in my case, I really want to overwrite my file, so I'm pressing yes here, and it starts. Oh, error while while opening encoder for output may be incorrect parameters such as bit rate. So my bit rate was a little bit too high, I guess. So let let go down to 128k. Uh, and yeah, rewrite. As you can see, it's now working with a bitrate of 128k. So what you can also do, of course, in the main page is search for some other things just like variable bitrate. So let me search for audio again. There we have our audio parameters, our audio options. You can see here the, the bitrate, if you ha want to have a constant bitrate. You can change the channels of the audio. Very, very useful if you want to have a mono-only version of your audio file. Very useful if you have a um, yeah, text conversation, basically an interview that you recorded and you want to save some space because normally interviews and uh, yeah, speech basically does not need stereo sound. Does it? <laughs> a simple podcast does not need a stereo sound, I guess. Um, and you can set here uh, the channel. But more importantly, you can set an quality, and this will turn on VBR, as you can see here. This is the option that I was searching for. I was looking for if you want to convert your file to yeah, a different, um, different file format with a uh, variable bitrate. You can use the AQ and then a quality sign a qu quality number basically for for the quality uh, for example five i think it's from one to ten i think one is the worst case scenario and ten is the the best i'm not quite sure <laughs> if it's right you have to check it out uh somewhere perhaps it's also written here in the um and the command in the in the main page yeah, this is basically my little tutorial on how to work on media files from the terminal 
under Lubuntu um, 11.10 11, 11, so I've trained a lot to say Lubuntu 11.04 so that I'm now in the 11.10 phase talking about Lubuntu 11.010 <laughs> which is of course nonsense Lubuntu 11.10, 11.04 it just works also with 10.10 .10 and 10.04 I think so all the Lubuntu versions basically it will work so this is basically everything for this screencast I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching